Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the Forrest Gump of suicide pills, cyanide. So no one actually calls it the Forrest Gump of suicide pills, but like Forrest Gump, cyanide does show up all over the place in history. Rasputin, Hitler, Jonestown, Heaven's Gate, James Bond, even Doctor Who has a cyanide episode. Part of why it's so popular is that it's super fast and effective, but we're getting way ahead of ourselves here. The word cyanide actually refers to any compound that has one carbon atom triple bonded to a nitrogen atom. When you're talking about cyanide poisoning, you're most likely talking about hydrogen cyanide, which is a colorless gas, potassium cyanide, or sodium cyanide, which are both water-soluble solids. All three options are extremely lethal. A fatal dose can be as little as 1.5 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, which is not a lot of cyanide. The suicide pills that were issued to soldiers during special missions in World War II were about the size of a pea. Once in your system, it combines with the iron in your body, making your cells unable to absorb oxygen. Your heart and brain are affected first as those organs use the most oxygen, which is why even small amounts of exposure over a long enough period of time can cause heart and brain damage. But you weren't given trace amounts. You were given enough to kill you, and it's gonna happen fast. In the brief span of a few minutes, you'll slip into a coma, begin seizing, and lose enough oxygen in your bloodstream to cause cardiac arrest and death. To make matters worse, you were either intentionally poisoned or gassed by a deranged killer, like Cyanide Mohan, the serial killer that took the lives of 20 women in India. Or you were killed by your own legal system. Yes, hydrogen cyanide is how some US states execute prisoners. So, you just died from cyanide poisoning. Congratulations, you picked the least original way to die. Seriously, it's a total cliche. The list of people, real and otherwise, who use cyanide to kill themselves or others is stupid long. Really quickly, there's the Nazis. Goring, Goebbels, Himmler, Rommel, Eva Braun, Adolf Hitler. Hitler took cyanide and then shot himself in the head. Why does that guy have to take everything to the extreme? Then there's the cults, Jonestown, Heaven's Gate, the scientist, Trites, Carruthers, and Turing. He's not a robot, but he did pretty much invent computer science and we didn't have rights to any images of him. The writers and artists, Lugones, Polidori, and Clover Adams. She was the inspiration for Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. She swallowed potassium cyanide and was found lying in front of her bedroom fire. How quaint. And a whole collection of other weirdos. Rasputin, death row inmates, and this guy. That's James Whitaker Wright. He's the Bernie Madoff of the early 1900s, and he was found guilty of fraud and then immediately killed himself in one of the court's ante rooms. Thanks, Wikipedia. Anyway, that's a very partial list, and it's already way too long. I, for one, would not want to be on the same list as Hitler, or any of those guys for that matter, and I definitely wouldn't want to be at the bottom of that list. So why don't you pick another poison? Maybe give this one a try. No one famous has tangled with one of these before. 